All right, there's a lot going on in the music world. And a lot of shows are coming up, so tickets are everyone's perfect size. No clutter. No clutter. Our friend Jim Bozzi is here now with the details. Hey, Jim, how are you? Hey, guys, and they fit in stockings perfectly, too, exactly. tickets. And you know what? Or on your phone. I mean, either way, it's the cleanest. <laughs> There's no wrapping involved. Let's yeah. put it that way. We love it. We love it. All right, so where are you starting? Well, let's see. I just wanted to let you guys know, it's really kind of a neat thing that Andrea Bocelli's son, Matteo, has been uh, joining him on tour on this, this these Christmas shows he's doing. He's got a bunch uh, coming up, uh, two of them coming up this weekend. If you are so inclined to go down to Orlando or Miami, and why would you not with that new airline in New Haven, Avilo? But uh, he's joining him on stage for a few songs, and uh, it, it's just wonderful to see this father and son collaboration uh, in person. Uh, they're doing the the, the, the concert that he recorded in Parma, Italy a few years ago. So that's something that I think is pretty special out there for Christmas time. Um, one of the best selling artist Christmas albums of all time is Andrea Bocelli. And yeah, you mentioned about the top songs of the year. I mean, I can't believe we're, we're actually here we are at the end of the year, but the number one song of the year is Miss Dua Lipa herself with the big hit Levitating. Uh, number two was the Ariana Grande uh, Weekend duet, uh, Save Your Tears. And then the weekend again at number three with uh, Blinding Lights. But our favorite, Olivia Rodrigo, did place two songs in the top 10 for the year. Of course, Driver's License, which, which broke her out big time, and Good For You. So that's kind of a wrap up of the big songs of the year. You know, it's it, it is. It didn't the weekend get a big snub from the Grammys, or uh, forgive me if I'm wrong here, but I, I don't think he got a snub. I mean, he did perform at the, uh, the what do you call the Super Bowl last year, and uh, criticism was you know here and there, but no, he's one of the biggest uh, guys on the planet. I mean, he's just yeah, he's just what a year he's right. had. And Olivia Rodrigo became Time Person Entertainer of the Year. Yes, yes, yeah. It, it was a big year of some breakout stars and she i think of of everybody i think olivia rodrigo bts of course had a great year dua lipa that we just mentioned um coldplay had a great year drake is like the number one artist in the world right now the guy just you know billions of streams everywhere taylor swift had an amazing year so it was an exciting year in um uh, let's call it pop music okay okay terrific. and there are some local shows this weekend yeah so listen the nutcracker um there is the uh, New Haven Ballet's version of the Nutcracker uh, at the Schubert Theater, but the Schubert Theater a week from today is doing hip hop, nut, the hip hop Nutcracker, which Barishnikov even said it's like athleticism and artistry meeting together. It's a really cool show. It's emceed by the historic legendary rapper Curtis Blow. It's uh, at the Schubert Theater. Uh, next Thursday, like I said, at 7 o'clock, the 23rd. So if you want something a little different, a little twist in your Nutcracker uh, love, I got to tell you, the Hip Hop Nutcracker is just amazing. It just gives a new spin to what we all know and love. A real spin. I mean, well, that's, uh, that's great. My kids would actually like that. Once your kids are a little older, they little teens, you know, yeah, they, that they'd be excited. Absolutely fascinating. It's really cool. It's really cool. And then also over at the... Uh, the Waterbury, the Palace Theater in Waterbury, you know, if you love the countryside of things, uh, the Million Dollar Quartet, which has been a touring show now for for quite a while, uh, but they do a Christmas version. So they have four uh, actors portray Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, and of course Elvis Presley. But And they're all at the Sun uh, record studio, uh, which is legendary. Of course, Elvis recorded there back in the day. So it's it's a take. It's a it's a kind of a neat old blues country rockabilly rock and roll take on on Christmas. But it's a really cool show at the Palace, and that's coming this Saturday night uh, oh, cool. in Waterbury. That looks Those really good. Those tickets are on top. Okay. What's going on at the Toyota Oakdale Theater? And we've got, you know, listen, uh, we don't have any shows this weekend, but we have a lot of shows going on sale. Casting Crowns, which is a uh, Christian group. They're coming on the 18th of February. Uh, that's going to be very exciting. We have Riverdance, the 25th anniversary. That's coming up in May, May 6th to 8th. But it is, these are, these are just great Christmas gift ideas because we always say tickets fit everybody, right? You don't have to disappoint anybody. So Riverdance and then Charlie the Ch and the Chocolate Factory, 
show, which is coming May 20 to 22. That is the golden ticket, as I'm calling it, uh, for our Christmas gift this year. And also over at the, the Bushnell, if you've got Food Network fans on your list, uh, Alton Brown is bringing his Beyond the Eats over to the, the Bushnell. And that's going to be kind of a, a neat idea if you've got uh, people on your list that love cooking shows and I'm yeah. one of them, Okay, you know. Good. Thanks, Jim. Jim. Jim, how was it to be honored to sit at my table at the party on Saturday night that I held? You got to sit next it to was me. A, it, it, was a, it was a great honor to sit at your table and take more of these than I you took three of them. Deserved. I was I was snagging them as I was leaving, kind of like my mother with sweet blow. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a fun time. It was a fun time, and I uh, hope you'll you'll have a lot of beats this Christmas on your Christmas table. Thank you. Good to see you, Jim. As always, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays, Kara. Happy Holidays, Scott. Happy Holidays, Jim. All right.